by the end of this video you will know how to be more productive when you're editing a video using Filmora 13 of course and hopefully I will get this ping pong inside that red cup it doesn't look very promising but we'll see and by the way my name is Andres Lopez and I am here to empower your inner video creator we all enjoy the process of video editing is where we put all of creativity inside but being fast when you have a lot of projects when you have a lot of clips it's a must Filmora has a lot of tools that are building the app just to make your life easier as a video editor and to be faster so these four new tools that i'm gonna explain are just here to help us just being fast and just like make this trick shot happen getting close if you're a video editor you know that at the end of like a process we have like bunch of clips just sitting in our timeline and we have we have to go like one by one and make adjustment and try to make this one looks like this one and all that stuff and it can be very complicated but thankfully with Filmora 13 there is like this new tool called multi-clip editing and basically what it says is like you can edit multiple clips at once so this feature is actually very useful when you find yourself needing to apply like consistent changes across a completed timeline whether it's tweaking the scale, changing the color, or applying a vignette, or even like applying an effect to every single clip, just use multi-clip editing, and you can apply this to all the clips at once. If there is something that you need to know, and if you want to edit fast, it's shortcut. There are three keys that will make your life easier, and that's JKL. Okay, so imagine you have to go through all the footage with just the mouse and that can be very overwhelming. You can now tap the L key repeatedly to crank up your forward playback speed and you can actually reach up to 32 times the speed. And if you want to go backwards, that's not a problem. Just press the J key to achieve the same effect. And if you want even a better experience, just combine J and L to play forward at 40% the speed or JKL to go backwards at 40% the speed. That's pretty handy. For example, we're editing this video. I have, oh, I have been like doing this for like a long time now. And I might need just to go like back and forth to see when this ping pong goes inside. And believe me, I'm gonna be using JKL a lot. This third tool is actually my favorite and it's called Compound Clips. So what you can do, oh, <laughs> I'm getting close. What you can do is you can make groups, you can select as many clips as you want and you can just combine them into like one. Simply select the clips you want to compound, right click and press create compound clip. You can now apply any effects you want and they will affect every clip within. And if you ever want to tweak your compound clip, just click here and you will have the flexibility to make any changes that you want. You can use this however you want, however you need. Uh, for me especially, I just make groups depending on the scenes I'm editing and I just do my edit based on that. Oh! So the last tool I'm gonna talk about is Rough Cut Preview. So with Rough Cut Preview, you can optimize and eliminate the problem of how difficult it is to find an entry and exit points. The good thing about this is that you can select the entry and exit points in the thumbnail of the resource area. If you want to exit this, you will just press the X on the thumbnail to clear the entry and exit points. So imagine you have tons of clips, you have them all on the resource area, you want to just try to fast forward like your process and you just go, you know, in point, out point, drag it to the timeline, that simple. So what do you think? Which other tools you use to be like a faster editor? If you don't mind, just leave your comments below just to help our community to become a better editor with Filmora 13. While I'm doing this, don't forget to like, oh! subscribe. <laughs> yes! Woohoo!